LP on the scene, what it be, yo? In the club, stay fly like an ego. Stay fresh to death. To a lot of great players are going to have a good time out of with it today. All right. Well, thanks for interviewing with All LP right. on the scene. No doubt. Right. Uh -huh. Can we talk about the vision that you had, not just with Megafest, but for the kingdom that you have built? Did you ever think that you would be able to touch millions and millions of lives the way you have? No idea. I, 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 I had no idea that it would be to this magnitude. And even now, I kind of think God keeps blinders on my eyes that I, I probably don't see it the way the world sees it. Because if I did, I probably wouldn't be able to do it. It would scare me to death. But, but by His grace, if you keep your eyes focused on, on what you're called to do and not how people react to it, you, you can remain sober and, and vigilant and still be able to have a life. And I've really tried to do that. Absolutely. And talk about building that kingdom with the best life partner because people don't oftentimes look for that life partner in order to build these things. But you've all done this for 30 years. What's the secret and what do you tell people because the marriage rate is declining? <laughs> well, well, I got lucky. <laughs> I got lucky. I, I knew when I met her. I did not marry her for the stage. I did not marry her for my ministry. I did not marry her for my career. I married her for me. I married her for me. I married her for who she is to me as a man. I married her because she believed in me. I married her because she wasn't interested in positions or glamour or title. She loved me. And I think that if you start marriage without being focused on trying to pick a business partner or choosing a wife like you choose a watch because she looks good on your arm, but try to find somebody who loves you and you love them and then you face the storms together and you pray and you just do the best you can. And having received help of God, we've continued on. That's how we made it, <laughs> by the skin of our teeth and prayer. <laughs> this is Network Queen, you're watching LP on the scene and I have Cherie from Hollywood Exes. How are you girl? I'm wonderful, how are you? I'm great, you look so beautiful. Thank you. Tell me, what did you do to prepare for the game? I'm kind of doing that now. <laughs> Did little stretches and I'm, I'm I'm looking forward to it. Are you competitive? Yeah, but you know what? It's toned down amongst professionals. Okay. You know what I mean? Like these are some real players, so I, I, you know, you gotta you gotta compete sensibly. Yeah, the ball up players. Yeah, you gotta compete, but I am competitive, and we will win. That's what I'm talking about. Put it in the atmosphere, yeah. mega fest, in, right? In the name of Jesus, we will win. <laughs> yeah. So tell me about Hollywood X's. How's how's that been for you? It's been amazing. It's been a lot of fun. Um, the girls, we have a great camaraderie, sisterhood. Um, I'm loving the show this season. You know, we're about to have some, uh, it's going to get juicy. I was going to say that. I can feel it coming. Yeah, it's going to get hot in, uh, in Utah, in Park City. Oh, wow. Yeah, it heats up a little bit. Nice. Yeah. Well, thank you for interviewing with thank LP you. on the scene. You want to give a shout out to anybody? Yes. Hey, you're watching LP on the scene. Thank you. Thank you. Let's talk about this whole Megafest event and how important it is to you because it's benefiting Autism Speaks, which we know that issue is very near and dear to your heart. Can you talk a little bit about that and how important it is for people to learn more about this situation? Well, first of all, I'm so grateful. It's such a huge blessing that Bishop has embraced autism as a mission, is partnered with Autism Speaks. I sit on the National Board of Autism Speaks. I'm absolutely thrilled to do that. But as you know, it's very important to me to spread the word, especially in our community, uh, how important early intervention is. The earlier you detect autism, the better the chance the child has to, you know, be a productive citizen in this world. So, um, so, so important to do that. Um, and in our community, our kids are getting diagnosed two to five years later than other communities. So that's not okay. So to have this platform here this weekend with Bishop, with all these great people, it's a blessing. And further, do you think in our community that people are starting to learn more about autism, to uh, really spread the word about autism instead of it being as taboo as it's been in previous years? Well, that's the point, that we don't want it to be taboo, we don't want it to be stigma. A lot of times I've gone and I've uh, spoken at churches and the community and I can, I can see that there's some children that are on the spectrum that hadn't been diagnosed yet. Now it's not up to me to walk around saying your child has it, your child has it, but as a community we all need to be supportive 
and that way we can get these kids diagnosed and we can get them the services they need. And any other endeavors that you're working on that we need to know about and look out for? Well, I'm working to do some more talk show endeavors. With tell us, tell us, tell us! With NBC, really excited about that. Um, I really love the live talk show format and really enjoy doing the format. And so looking forward to doing some more of that. I'm writing a second children's book and, um, you know, rounding, rounding up kids. <laughs> Thank you so much. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm doing good. So, uh, what did you do to prepare for t for this game? Uh, nothing. Because <laughs> you didn't have to, right? No. That's right. No, no, I ain't gonna, no. I'm just here to be a part of it. Happy to be part of it. So, how are you? Are you prepared for the season coming up? What's going on with that? Yeah, I'm getting ready for that. We we don't have training camp till the till the end of next month, beginning beginning of October. But uh, that's that's my that's where my focus is right now. Hey, this is LP on the scene. It's your boy LP. Hey, now, Mike. Last time we saw each other, we were out of place. I didn't get a yeah, chance to talk that's to right. you. Yeah, and the crowd. Buttons. The crowd. We'll just say the crowd. The crowd. Because you know you have a crowd tonight. Excuse me. You had a crowd tonight, and you worked the crowd. I love the crowd. But it's the important. crowd there. Yeah. Yeah, just the crowd. Yeah, I love. I but, love playing with the crowd. But what else is going on with you? you know, uh, since you, this is your first time doing Mega Fest. I don't know. It is my first time doing Mega Fest. Yes. So, as well as you did, you're gonna do it again. Okay, that's awesome. Okay, you're paying me straight. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. I like that uh, blueberry. Uh, yeah, blackberry clip. Blackberry. Cool. Yeah. You watched the blackberry. That was fun. You talking about blackberry. It's also on YouTube. Okay, well. I just thought I'd mention well, YouTube well, what? is like free. They, well, give, you us your, give us your YouTube channel. Oh, my YouTube channel is Michael Jr. Comedy, just like my Facebook and my Twitter and everything else. It's Michael Jr. Comedy. I got like 60 videos up there, just like Blackberry. Okay. Yeah. Anything else you got coming up you want to plug? Yeah. You gonna let me? Okay. All right. Cool. Cool. I got him laughing on purpose coming out. It's um, it's already out. You can go to Walmart and get laughing on purpose. It's my new DVD. It's like four thousand. We did it in front of 4,000 people, two shows, so it's like 8,000 people right here in Dallas we shot it. It was pretty cool. So it's called Laughing on Purpose. It's at Walmart. Don't act like you don't go to Walmart. So go get the DVD. It's all, it's all over the place. You'll love it. Laughing on Purpose. Or go to MichaelJR.com and you get it online. Well, thank or you. Or you can go to one of my shows and then I'll, um, you can get it there too. Inside the show, outside that's bootleg. Don't get them. Get the one. Come inside. Well, thank you, Michael, for that. And uh, Thank you very much. You're welcome very much. You have a pleasant evening, sir. Yeah, you leaned in a little too much. You was a little I'm not trying to kiss you. No, I was a space invader. He was like this. He was like, well, I'm going to get in your space because I'm trying to. Yeah, not see? Jump that was you weird. Know? Yeah, yeah, cool. All right. Hey, let's just see how long we can stay in here awkwardly. No, 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 you move. That wasn't awkward. You took the awkwardness away when you move. You I'm being black and awkward. Okay. Well, that, just that comment was awkward. Thank you. I'm Michael Jr. walking off. In the club, stay fly like an ego. You know we be VIP wherever we go. Do it for the love, the love plus the people.